Hi, I am Helen the Rooftop Knitter and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this jumper or sweater in two needles. It has cables at the front and the, and the backs are in rice or moss stitch. Um, has wrapping neck as well, it's suitable for intermediate knitters, it's not that hard and can be adapted for men or women. We are going to need 600 grams of size 6 yarn, 7 millimeter knitting needles in a straight and circular, a crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle and markers. I'm going to use this jumper as an inspiration to do the project. So I sketch a draft here for the, um, for the cables. It's going to be roughly like this so it's four sets of uh, of cables and the pattern has 14 stitches it starts with two pearls two pearls for this side one big cable two pearls and this long stripe with two knits this is the pattern of 14 stitches that we will repeat four times for the front to calculate the stitches it would be this pattern of cables four times, so that's 54 stitches. That's 14 multiplied by four minus two, because we won't do this, this stripe at the end, okay? Then for the sides, for the right stitch of the sides, I'm going to allow 20 stitches for a large size, that would be this part, from shoulder to, to waist. If you wanna make any other size, maybe go for 16 stitches for a medium or 18, and then two or four or four stitches less for something smaller. So in total will be 94 stitches if it's 54 plus 40. And I already made a rib of 94 stitches beforehand. And I just want to show you how to knit it. So to, to start, two pearls, two knits, two pearls, Two knits and continue this way until finishing the row. I'm going to complete 10 rows for this uh, lower rib. After 10 rows of elastic rib, two by two, let's start with the pattern then. As we said, I'm going to do 20 stitches for the sides first. I'm going to do 20 stitches of rice stitch so let's start so it will be one knit and one pearl one knit and one pearl 20 stitches like this after 20 stitches of rice stitch let's start with the pattern at the middle so it will be two pearls one and two then eight stitches for knitting one two three four five six seven and eight knits then two pearls one and two and two, finally two knits. This is the pattern we have to repeat over and over again. So let's do the same pattern until we complete the whole row. For the last set of cables, I'm going to do eight knits and only two pairs. I won't do these two knits here because the following 20 stitches are rice stitch. So let's do it then. So for the rice stitch is one knit, one pearl. 
one knit and one purl. For the second row, for the rice right stitch, let's alternate the stitches then. This is an, uh, a knit, so we are going to do a purl here. And then we're going to do a knit on top of this purl. Then a purl on top of this knit. A knit on top of this purl and so forth. 20 stitches like this. Now for the part of the pattern, since it's the back row, let's just um, knit the stitches as they come. So this is a knit, a knit, and then these are eight pearls. And then we just, just um, work the stitches as they come until reaching the other side for the rice stitch again. Finally, for the last 20 stitches, let's do the rice stitch, just alternating, knit some pearls on top of the, of the other stitches. Let's say this one is a pearl, so let's do a knit here on top then. We'll continue like this, fronts and backs until completing a rows of uh, to start twisting the, the the cables after eight rows it's time to twist the stitches for the cables so let's do it together are you already done all the the all the rice stitch part the 20 stitches and now I'm going to start with the pattern so it's two pearls, one and two, and then four stitches twisted to the front with a crochet hook or with a stick or with a chopstick or, or anything you have at hand. Let's twist the four stitches to the front because the pattern is like that, so four to the front and knitting the next four stitches. And then let's just put back these four stitches to the left needle and knit them. One, two, three, and four. This is how it looks. This is just the start of the cable. And now let's do the same with the other cable. The rest of the pattern is going to be the same. So it's two pearls, two knits, two pearls, and now let's twist the cable so it's one, two, three, and four stitches to the front. And then let's knit one, two, three, and four. And then let's put back the four stitches we reserve to the left needle and complete the cable here we go so after that we have to we have to need four more rows of the same pattern as we did here and uh, after that we just repeat over and over again the same pattern it's eight of these plain rows and then one more to twist the stitches. 
at 38 centimeters long. Let's start shaping the armholes. So for that, I um I left this uh, this row in purpose. So I'm going to twist all the stitches at the same level where I'm going to start uh, shaping the armholes. So for the first row, I'm going to close four stitches here. Let's do it then. So that's one, two, and first on top of the second one. One more, that's two stitches. One more, that's three, and another one, that's four. So let's complete this row, twisting the stitches for the cables. And in the next row, let's uh, close the, the, the stitches for the other side. I have completed this row, closing four stitches at the beginning, twisted, twisting all the cables here. And now it's time to close the four stitches to this side. The following row, let's do the same then. So that's one, two, and closing it up, that will be the first stitch. Second one, third one, and fourth one. So four stitches to this side, and let's complete. Let's complete the row. Now for the third row of the armholes, let's close two stitches to the side. One and two. Then we just continue until we complete the row. And we can see already how, how the armhole is taking shape. I've just completed the, the third row and we already have the, the six stitches here close for the right and only four here because we are going to close the two stitches for the left in this row. Let's do it then. On the fifth row, the last decrease the last decrease is going to be the following um, the following row. So for this fifth row, we won't we won't do any decrease at all. What we are going to do is start shaping the neck from here, right at the middle. So these are two cables, right? So here, right at the middle, let's start let's start um, opening the the neck in V. I'm going to mark it so it's easier for us to recognize it. Once we are here right at the middle in this big uh, stripe at the, right at the middle, so let's start shaping the neck as well. It's a V-neck, so let's start with the left side first, okay? so. This first stitch, we're going to knit it as usual because we are going to do the decrease in the following row. But for this one, we're going to knit two stitches together. 
and then we just complete the row as usual and since there's no any any uh, decrease in this row for the armholes we just um we just complete a, a a normal row until we reach the middle for row number six i already i already done half of it without any increase at the beginning as we said and now now that I'm at the middle, I can clearly see the two stitches I closed uh, the row before. So for these two, let's just purl it as usual. But for this side, since there is no yarn anymore, let's start with another thread from a new ball of yarn. small knot to make sure that all the stitches are safe and now with this new thread let's close two stitches together two at the same time and now Let's finish row number six. For row number seven, let's close the last stitch here for the armhole. And then let's Continue until we reach the middle to shape the neck even farther. When we reach the middle, let's continue with the other thread, with the other side, and again. It's going to be purling now because this is a purl. So this is the decrease for this row and completing row seven then. In row number eight, let's close the last stitch for the other side. So that would be only one stitch. And this is the last decrease for the armholes. And now I will complete this part until reaching the middle again. Now that I'm at the middle again for row number eight, let's close the two stitches for the other side. So two together because it's neat. And then Complete, let's complete rows A. We are done with the stitches for the armholes already. So from now on, we're just going to, um, to continue straight here with no any decrease. But we're, continu we're going to continue with the decreases at the middle for the, for the neck. It's going to be one decrease every row, as we have been doing, up here. All the decreases up here so after this cable and one more pearl but we won't touch this pearl and the following stripe okay now don't forget to to twist the stitches in this row it's time to to twist the stitches for the cables and, and always respecting the margin of seven rows in between uh, in between these cables because it's one, one twisting, seven rows, and twisting again, okay? Le, uh, I will see you when you get here then. At 60 centimeters long for the whole job, it's time to close this part for the, for the front. But I just want to explain you what, I, what I've done for the, for the neck. 
Just remember that we started with the decreases for the v-neck here. What I've done, it's one decrease, uh, decrease each row until I, I reach this big, very big stripe. We already talked about this. I just wanted to show you. And then I stop here. So one stitch before the biggest stripe, which is a pearl. So this would be two knits for the for the stripe and one pearl to this side until uh, um, I reach the 60 centimeters long for the whole job. And now it's time to close it, to close both shoulders, to start with the with the back. Let's do it then. This is um this is one and then two and one on top of the second one another one and the first one on top of the second one next stitch and closing it up let's do this for both shoulders then For the back, we're going to cast less stitches than for the front because as you can see, when we when we need cables, the job is going to shrink a lot. It's not the same like when doing only purling and, and knitting. The the whole piece is shrink a lot because of all twistings. So apart from that chests are always bumpier than, than backs, so has to be less stitches for the back. In this case, because it's a job with a lot of cables, I think it's, um, it's good to maybe do 14 less stitches, so it's one whole pattern. So for the back, I'm going to have these 20 stitches, then three of these sets, and 20 stitches. I won't be doing cables. This part will be only knitting because it's the back. We don't need to do any design. So um, just remember that we had 94 stitches for the front. So less 14, it would be 80 stitches for the back then. Let's cast, let's cast 80 stitches. I got the 80 stitches here for the back. I already done 10 rows of elastic rib one, two by two beforehand. And let's start with the design for the back then. Just recall that we did uh, um, 20 stitches uh, at the beginning and 20 stitches at the end in rise stitch. So let's do those, those 20 stitches then. Here are the 20 stitches for the beginning and now it's time to do two pearls as in the front and then eight knits then two pearls Two knits and then we'll repeat this pattern three times except for the last bit for the third set and then 20 stitches more of uh, of rice stitch as in the front and we will continue with this pattern until we reach the level for the armhole at 38 centimeters long for the for the back I will start shaping the armholes it's just one decrease each side. I won't. I won't do a very um, a very dramatic shape like as in the front. It's just for the back. And remember that we have less stitches for the back than for the front. So it will be only one one stitch here, one st stitch less, and one stitch less to the other side as well. I just completed this row with one decrease here to this side, you can see it. Now it's time to do the decrease to the other side. Okay. 
From now on, let's continue just straight with no increases or decreases with the same pattern. But we're going to start, we're going to stop probably two rows before, two or four rows before, before finish uh, the back to start shaping the neck. One row before closing the job, I split the job in three and I'm going to allow 27 stitches each size for the shoulder. So it's one less than in the front because for the front we had 28 stitches, if you remember. So I'm going to close all these stitches to shape the net a little bit. You, you might start uh, maybe one or two rows before, but I wanna do a very close neck. So it's only one, one or two rows before. So this is two rows before, and I'm going to continue the pattern until I get here. Now that I'm at the middle, let's close all the stitches reserved for the for the neck. So it's two and passing the first stitch on top of the second one. Then one more closing it up. One more, closing it up, one more, and closing until getting to this point. Now that I have closed all the stitches at the middle, this is the base for the neck. So let's continue with one more row. We have to add another ball of yarn here because we won't we won't have anything to knit with um, to the other shoulder because we close this bit. Now for the other shoulder, let's attach a new piece of yarn as we said. Small knot here. And let's complete this other shoulder. And now it's time to close both shoulders. So for that, let's do one knit, one pearl, and one on top of the second one. Then one more stitch, and first on top of the second one. One more, and closing it up. Let's continue closing the stitches until we close both shoulders. Now that both pieces front and back are done, let's join the shoulders through the back of the job. So this is the back of the job and the back here as well. I'm going to use a crochet hook, but you can use any, uh, a yarn needle or any method you prefer. I like the crochet hook because it looks neater. And here's a slip stitch. The next one, it will be, this This will be uh, one more stitch. So if you can see the, the chain there, so inserting the hook. and matching it up with the other side. The next one. Same matching with the one at the back and so forth until joining both shoulders. This is how it looks after joining both shoulders. And let's reserve this piece for later. And let's start with the, with the sleeves now. I will be working both sleeves at the same time. So there are two sleeves here in the same stick, in the same needle. 
and you will have 40 stitches for each sleeve and I already done about seven cent six or seven centimeters so far of elastic rib two by two. So now let's start with the pattern. I'm going to be doing one cable, one of these stripes and one cable. The rest is going to be rice stitch. So let's calculate how many rice stitch we need. So it's 40 less 14 for one cable plus one more cable with no stripe so that's minus 12 so that's 14 so it will be seven rice stitch for each side let's start then for this sleeve it's going to be one two three, four, five, six, and seven. Then two pearls, one and two. Then a knit, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now two pearls, one and two, two needs for very, for this stripe, one, two, then two pearls, and then eight needs two last pearls and seven rice stitch one two three four, five, six, and seven. Same for the other sleeve. So let's continue doing the same we did for the, for the front. That this is eight rows, exactly the same. And I will let you know what to do in this one where we have to twist all the stitches. Now that the eight rows are completed, these eight rows, Let's twist the stitches, but at the same time, in the same row, I'm going to add two stitches to the side. We're going to this, do this uh, from now on. Every time we have to twist the stitches for the cables, let's add one more stitch to the sides as well to start shaping the, the sleeve, okay? So this one is... This would be one. And then this will add one more stitch. Can you see? Again. Let's say if I have to do one knit here because it's rice stitch, let's do one knit because the first one is never knitted. So like this and then the following one has to be a pearl but I won't pass I won't pass the thread to the front I would just keep it to the back and then pearl that will add one more stitch okay so I have to complete all the rice stitch then two pearls as in the pattern and now let's do let's twist the cables this will be one two three and four to the front as in the sketch 
and one, two, three, and four to the back. Then one, two, three, and four back to the left needle and complete the cable. Same for the other cable and let I will let you know what to do in the other end. Before finishing this row, let's add the other stitch. So it's one more increase here. And to, to knit the last stitch, we won't do anything. So we won't uh, put this thread back. Just keep it at, at the front and knit it. This will add one more stitch here. Let's do the same for the other for the other sleeve. In the, for the following row, let's twist the stitches for the increases to avoid leaving a hole there. So this would be like this. And instead of uh, knitting through the front, let's knit through the back to twist the stitch. This will avoid having a hole there. And then let's just continue with the back of the pattern. From now on, we just um, follow the pattern we, we we follow for the front part. So this would be seven of these rows and then twisting. In the same in the same row where we do all the twistings, let's add one more stitch here to the sides, right and left, to start shaping the sleeve in a V shape or in a cone. So this way the, the shoulder is going to be wider than the wrist. At 48 centimeters long, I'm going to start shaping the shoulder for the sleeves. What I'm aiming for is completing 51 centimeters in total. So from now on, I will start um, with decreases here. I will start with four and then with two decreases every row until I get here and have only this, um, this pattern in the middle. As a coincidence, I, make it, I made it match with um, with this uh, twist here. Let's start then. It's going to be four decreases each side. So it's one, two, and one on top of the second one. This will be the first decrease. Then one more. Uh, this is the second decrease. third decrease and fourth and then I will just continue the rest of the um, of the row as usual and in the next row I'm going to do the four decreases for this bit for the other side the first four decreases are done for this row now it's time to do the decreases for the other side Let's do the same. So it's four decreases. And then let's complete the row. And from now on, we're going to do two decreases each row. Now it's time to do the two decreases each side, as we said. It's going to be two decreases each row until we reach this pattern up here. So let's do one and then one more stitch. 
first decrease. And two decreases. Two decreases each side then from now on. At 54 centimeters long, I'm going to close the job. I want to show you how it looks. Looks like this. It's like a trapezoid or something like that. Two slopes here and a straight part here. I only left three stitches to the side apart from the pattern and gave me a total of 32 stitches. And now I'm going to close it in the same way we have been closing the rest of the job. So it's one, two, and one on top of the second one. One, and then first on top of the second one. Let's do this until we close both shoulders. This is how it looks after completing the slits. And now it's time to join all pieces together. So this piece is going to go here. Here straight at the middle. Let's do it together so you don't have any doubt about how to do it. Every time we um, we join the, the pieces, we have to do it through the back. Let's do it this way, probably. And this is exactly the middle. I'm going to do it with a crochet hook. You can use your preferred method. You can use some um, a yarn needle or, or anything you prefer. And just let's close all the stitches. So I have to match this stitch. With the one that match at the back. And a slip stitch. Let's do this with the whole job to join the sleeves and 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 join the sides of the of the job of the body. And the last step would be completing the neck, the wrapping neck. Now it's, it's time to do the wrapping neck. I'm going to start from here, from this point, and continue around and then going back. It's not circular knitting, it's just a straight. And after completing the, the neck, I'm going to join it through these bits with a yarn needle or with a crochet hook. The, um, the neck is going to be as tall as you want, so depending on how tall you want it. And let's start from here then. This is how it looks already. It's looking very beautiful. So now let's, with a new piece of yarn, Let's insert the needle and with a new piece of yarn, let's cast the first stitch. Small knot here, just in case. Then next one, yarning over and one more stitch. Then. Next one, yarning over and one more stitch. Let's continue casting the stitches until we go around and get to this point. So it's going to be a wrapping neck. We're going to go around the whole neck, okay? So let's continue doing this, inserting the needle, yarning over and casting the stitch.
I already finished casting all the stitches. I changed it for circular needles because it's more comfortable. We won't be going circular though, it's straight. It's just, uh, I think it's more comfortable. I ended up having 78 stitches, but it doesn't really matter how many stitches uh, you have, okay? No need to be exact. From now on, Let's complete few rows of, of rice stitch. So it's one knit, one purl, one knit, and one purl. Let's complete few rows like this until reaching the desired height for the neck. And the stitch is the same like this one for people who doesn't know what rice stitch is. It's one pair and one knit, just alternating it, not one on top of the other one, alternating knitting and purling to have this beautiful stitch. At 15 centimeters tall for the neck, I'm going to close it. You can do it shorter or longer, it's up to you. I just decided to do a very tall neck, that's why. So it's going to be 15 centimeters long for me. So we're going to do the same, one and two stitches. And closing it up. Let's re repeat this until completing the whole row to close the whole neck. And after this, I will show you how to sew it. Once I got the neck, the last step would be sewing the, the neck. I'm going to do the front first and this bit after because the, this part is more important, has to look nice. So we grab a, a yarn needle and let's start through the back. Mm, probably I will start from here. Then here. A bit of margin here. Small knot to the back. Then Let's go through every single stitch like this. You see? Let's continue with these small stitches until the whole neck is, um, is totally attached. It's looking very nice already. Have to do this up here and the same for the back. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. And see you next time. Bye.